I'm feeling excellent. You know, despite what's going on in the world and the economy and all that other baloney stuff, <laughs> I can choose my own happiness, right? And I feel that's great. Exactly right. That's your that's your power. That's your choice. I can speak from from personal experience. You know, years ago, I after my divorce, I went to see a therapist. I, I don't remember if she was a. I think she was a psychiatrist actually. And I was in a very busy uh, job at the time in New York City, and I would walk to see her, and it was. I forget, it was expensive. I forget how much it was, even though I had insurance. And it did nothing for me. Right. You know, seeing her once a week did nothing for me. Years later, I was dating somebody who later became a fiance. She was my post-divorce fiance. And we were going to couples therapy. And that did nothing for me. All we kept doing is talking about the same problems over and over and over. Talking, 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 cementing the bad stuff. And it did nothing for me. Nothing helped until I started working with you. Well, you know, there was a couple things that were going on at the time. So... I think by the time you and I spoke, it was probably February. And I had broken up with uh, the girl in August, which was a, a three and a half year relationship. I thought I was going to marry that one. You no, know, other things were happening. I had, my job had been cut. I had uh, become a self-employed person. You know, I was considering getting a job as, instead of being self-employed. And I'd already hit rock bottom. I'd already decided to myself, okay, I'm done with the self-wallow. I'm done with the self-pity. And part of it was your self-confidence as well, your confidence in your, in your abilities, your program, your expertise, your testimonials. Part of it was how you knew you can get me from point A to point B in X amount of time. And part of it was me saying to myself, look, I can delay this. I can prolong it. I can say I'm going to do a little bit now and a little bit later. But honestly, if I was going to go that path, that's how I was showing up already in life. And I didn't want to have the same. <laughs> I, I started to know within the first two days. Um, certainly within right. the first week. I mean, the first week, uh, it was the hardest to, to make some of the changes, but the first week, you immediately know you're getting results. Mm -hmm. Immediately. And, and certainly the first two weeks, like you said, the first two weeks, you know, I, I look back, I even went back and looked at some of my notes. I'm like, wow, it's impressive how much stuff occurred, you know, physiologically and mentally and emotionally in those first two weeks. It was, it was really a game changer. Well, you know, I remember... It was one particular day I was doing my daily practice in the morning and I was so pumped up after doing my daily practice. I did like an hour and a half workout, weight, work, weight training workout right after that. Later that day, it just set the, the tone for the rest of the day. But later in the day, um, I had heard from my ex and it was one of those messages that I knew was meant to kind of goat me into a response. That mental prison, I am let out of that mental prison. I am no longer controlled by the emotional response of those type of messages. Mm -hmm. And I just said, that's it. I, I don't need it anymore. Like, just go on. And I felt like I was freed out of prison that day. I felt like it, it no longer had power over me. And I continued to have a really good day. I think I made a couple great sales in my job that day, in my career. And it was just, it was important for me to realize that I'm the one who chooses how I can react. I'm the one who chooses how I can mm -hmm. feel. I'm the one who can choose from two minutes to two minutes later of how I'm going to be that day. And because I can control that and because I can create that happiness, I was no longer under the thumb of anybody else. It was wonderful. It's amazing. You know, like you said, it's, I'm not just Kevin 2.0, I'm Kevin 5.0. And when we were going through this training, you know, because there was that event happening, it, it, it felt like Rocky or Drago training for the big boxing match because that yeah, event yeah. was happening during, during my, my time with you. And, and I was training for that event. I was training mentally and emotionally for that event. Like that was my big match. And, <laughs> and you did well. I, I did. And then, you know, yeah. I showed up there. I, 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 came, I came out of that event with a renewed sense of purpose and, and drive, mm -hmm. you know, knowing what I know now and being the way I feel now. You know, I feel almost invincible. I feel almost bulletproof. Like, yeah, is there something that may get me down for a second? Sure. But not for more than two minutes. You know, I, I feel wonderful knowing that, uh, you know, I can now show up somewhere and, be in control of my thoughts, my patterns, my habits, my, my attitude. And it, you know, if, if I go resume with this person in a, in a deeper level, it's on my choice. It's, it's mm -hmm. my terms, you know, it's not a reaction. It's being proactive. It's very cool. It's very cool. Matter of fact, you, you may remember through some of my uh, feedback, but I was dating a few different people during the program. I much let most of them go because I made the choice, you know, instead of being dependent or codependent or, or, you know, trying to search for happiness in a relationship with somebody else, I said, screw it. I'm going to choose what's best for me. I'm going to choose what serves me. And if it doesn't serve me, I'm going to let it go. 
and I did I did just that. So, you know, it, it's really empowering to know that I have that ability and that skill and that condition to do that. I would say by my choice within the next year, I'll be engaged because I choose to be. All right. And that's a big statement. <laughs> I love it. That, that's a big statement because I got divorced 10 years ago hmm. and I never thought I would get married again. Um, and I'm saying this because, you know, I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what I don't want. I know exactly what I'll put up with. I know exactly what I will cut off if it's not serving me. Hmm. So, you know, in the next few years, um, by my choice, I would choose to be engaged. I would choose to be married. It's not for kids or anything like that. Cause I already have children. Um, and it's not, it's not for being lonely because I've already proven to myself, if I don't want to be lonely, I can go out and date at will. It's, it's not hard anymore. Mm -hmm. um, also, if, if I want to be by myself, I can choose to be by myself and be happy. Whereas in the past, my past self would be alone and sad and depressed. And I'm no longer alone, sad and depressed by myself. I enjoy being with myself. It's great I enjoy enough. having that time to recharge. So it's a, uh, the prospects for the future look really good because I choose for them to look really good. In my professional life, I deal with about, let's say, 20 clients. And two of those clients represent about 50% of my income. So those top two clients are really important to me. Mm -hmm. One of those clients was being pretty disrespectful to me, I don't know, just a few weeks ago. And mm -hmm. <laughs> because because we're connected on social media and email and text messages and all those sorts of things um, to place orders. I've actually flown to see this person um, several times a year to, to service the client. It was pretty disrespectful to me. And he's new in his position. He's a new manager, young guy. I pretty much put him in his place. In my past, I would have been groveling for orders. I would have been saying, oh yes, you know, whatever you want, I'll do, bend over backwards. Not anymore. I, I, didn't, I don't wanna say I fired my best customer, but I put the boundaries up. I was disciplined with him enough to say, listen, you're not going to talk to me that way. I have done X, Y, and Z. And I said, this is how our professional relationship is going to be. Like it or leave it. I don't need you, right? Rather than being a slave to him in terms of a business relationship. Guess what? He responded um, and has actually placed more orders in the last 30 days <laughs> than he did in the past six months. So He's noticed, and his coworker, who also texts me, noticed, and they respect me a lot more because I put my foot down. I'm not going to be bullied by some customer who, just because he knows he's a good customer of mine, I can go out and I can replace him like that. I don't need to re rely on that customer or a relationship to make me happy. So it's transcended business and relationships, you know, personal and, and business relationships. And, uh, and they get it. Matter of fact, so much they got it that... Um, my vice president of that company, you know, independent, my vice president flew down there and they pretty much set the record straight saying, okay, this is the way the relationship's going to be. And professionally, it's actually better now than it's ever been.